Previously, I had made a video about how we can expose devices from Home Assistant to other smart home ecosystems like Google and Apple Home. But the problem was that the add-on was deprecated and the original add-on did not have an integration with Home Assistant directly. But as I had said before, the developer was working on a new add-on and today we have an alpha release of this new add-on. Let's look at how we can make it work. Okay, first thing what we have to do is we have to install the add-on. So for that, let's go to settings, go to this add-on section, click on add-on store and then here I'm going to click on repositories and we are going to add this repository. Now I'll add this repository in the article that I will link into the description below. Now click on add and with this we should have our add-on present here. So let's refresh the page and you should see this add-on that is Home Assistant Matter Hub. Click on that and click on install. Now give it a few seconds for it to install. So now the installation is all complete. Let's click on this option to enable watchdog and then we are going to click on show on the sidebar. So with this, you should see this icon on the sidebar. Now let's click on start here and this will start now this add-on. Next, we are going to click on this open web UI and then you should see this UI. You can also access this from the sidebar here. And then I'm going to click on create new bridge and I'm going to specify a bridge name. So I'm going to just call it as matter bridge and I'm going to specify a country code. Now this you might have to specify if the commissioning fails. Right now I'm going to specify my country code here right now. And now here I'm going to include the entities that I want to be exposed via this matter bridge hub. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to select a type. So you have various options here, like you can specify a pattern, you can specify a domain, you can also specify a label area. Right now I'm going to specify a domain and I'm going to specify the light domain here. Now you can add more devices by adding this more options here, like you can specify more patterns, domains and platform, and then you can add more of these things. So right now I'm not going to add more and here are some feature flags that you can take care of. So if you want to invert the percentages for covers and if you want to include the hidden entities. So right now I'm not going to click on those, but I'm going to click on save. So with this, right now the matter bridge is now created for us. And let's go ahead and see. So right now I have two light entities that is this Zemi Smart bulb. Now this is a matter based bulb that I have connected to this Home Assistant instance, as well as I have a Zigbee bulb, which I can right now connect to this matter bridge right now. So right now I have this QR code for this matter bridge using which I will commission this matter bridge on a smart home ecosystem. And then here also you can see the various states of this entities here. So right now the color is red and the Zigbee bulb is right now turned on. You cannot turn it off from here, but you can just see the state right now. So first thing what we are going to do is we are going to link this bridge to our Google Home ecosystem. So for this right now, I have my Google Home open here. I'm going to go to devices and then I'm going to click on add. And then here I'm going to select matter enabled device and I'm going to scan this QR code. So once I scan this QR code, I'm going to click on agree and then it will start generating this matter credentials. So it will pop up with this screen that this is an unverified device. You're just going to say set up anyways, because this is a matter software bridge. And then it will generate the matter credentials and connect this matter bridge to this Google Home ecosystem. So let this setup complete right now. So now the device is connected. That is this matter bridge is connected to the Google Home ecosystem. I'm going to click on done. And if you see here, we see both the devices that are present. That is a Zemi Smart Bulb as well as a Zigbee Bulb. So I can control these two devices from a Google Home ecosystem. So if you see here, if I turn off the Zigbee Bulb, even it turns off over there. Now, if I refresh this bridge, if you see here, this QR code is now shown as commission. That means you cannot use this QR code anymore to connect other ecosystems. So now what we are going to do is we are going to see how we can connect this matter bridge again to a different ecosystem. In this case, I'll be making use of the Apple home ecosystem. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this matter bridge and then I'm going to say link matter apps and services and then link apps and services. And then here I'm going to select this QR code sharing. So let me go ahead and scan this code. So in my Apple home, I'm going to click on add accessory and I'm going to now scan this QR code. So with this, I have to turn on my Bluetooth and then I'm going to say add this accessory to my home. Here. Now it shows that it's an unverified accessory. So I'm going to click add anyways. And with this, now it will add 
this matter bridge onto this apple ecosystem so right now it's asking me for the bridge location i'm just going to say kitchen and i'm going to click on continue here for the bridge name and then now it will show up all the devices that it is getting via this matter bridge so i'm just going to add these devices right now to my apple ecosystem so if you see here right now the zemi smart bulb as well as the zigbee bulb both are present in my apple home so if i turn this off if you see here it also turns off here also. now there's an auto refresh here because of which it updates the state so once i turn this on also back again it will now update it here again so this is how we connected the matter bridge to the google ecosystem the apple ecosystem and you can also connect this to the alexa ecosystem right now i don't have an alexa device to show you this but there is a detailed guide provided by the developer and let's look at that so first of all when you open the alexa app you're going to click on add device and then here you're going to select matter device type and then here you're going to select try numeric code instead of the qr code don't scan it via the qr code and then you can find the pairing code here so if you click here this is the pairing code that you can make use of while connecting this matter bridge to the alexa ecosystem now make sure that once you use a pairing code it's better to recreate a new pairing code and then afterwards connect it to your respective ecosystems so with this we just saw how we can connect apple ecosystem google ecosystem as well as the alexa ecosystem Right now, if I refresh this page here and go back to the bridge, you can see the various fabrics here. So it is right now showing me that it's connected to the Google ecosystem and there are two links to the Apple ecosystem. I don't know why, but I have seen this for the Apple ecosystem. There are two links that are present here. So you can see whatever ecosystems that are connected to this matter bridge and then you can see it from this icons here. Now remember firstly the add-on is in its alpha release that means the developer is still improving the functionality and the add-on may not be very stable. Now I have used this add-on for nearly a month now and it is pretty stable for me. Now if you would like to see such videos make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Now if you want to support my work then you can become a Patreon member or you can just buy me a coffee. Till then take care and I will see you in my next one.